So the other day I was grocery shopping and I was going to pick up some treats for my nephew's birthday party today. And I was down the cookie aisle and I saw these. They looked like some organic, lovely lemon cream cookies. But as I got closer, I realized that they were dog treats. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I do not believe my niece and nephew would like these. They would rather have regular cookies or fruit gummies or something like that. But it got me thinking, a dog would like these treats and I have a dog. And if I was to give them to my dog, he would want to love on me. And my husband's taught him to give him a handshake and roll over and sit and do stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes we kind of act like dogs in a way. So whenever we do something good, we want God to notice and we want a treat for that. But whenever we do something bad, we kind of hide from God and kind of are like, oh, I hope he didn't see that. But that's not how God wants us to love him. He wants us to love him in the good times, in the bad times. And there's actually one Bible verse that's very popular that was said by a man named Job in the Bible. And it says, the Lord has given and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. And that's Job 1, 21. So when good things happen, we should rejoice and thank God. But let's not to forget to thank God in the bad times, because no matter how bad things are, He still is our God. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for allowing us to have those good times and to praise you and to respond to you. But also thank you for those bad times to remind us that you are in charge and you are still God. In your name we pray. Amen.